Welcome back to yet another season of Forza Horizon 4. Today we have a brand new playlist of events and some exciting rewards including the one and only Konaseg Yasko. This is a long awaited car and we finally can get it this week only so be sure to hop on and claim yours before you have to wait weeks to experience it. Taking a look at the playlist, we have our standard events including a photo challenge, a few online events, danger signs, and speed runs. If you go right here to the races, we actually have the Let It Snow event that will grant you the Konaseg Yes Go if you win and complete it. Also, if you missed the Velociraptor last time around, you can win it from the race below. This is a three race championship that you must complete on a highly skilled difficulty. It's important to make sure that you are on highly skilled. And then if you use a Kona Seg, well you have to use a Kona Seg for the races, which pretty much anyone has. Um, and to be honest, the, the races are super easy, super quick. I recommend using maybe the CCGT, just because with it being winter and snow being on the ground, the cars tend to slide a lot more. And with the power and torque that Kona Segs have, it might actually be really difficult to stay on the road. I just found the CC GT just to have incredible braking and incredible handling, so it's just a little bit easier in my opinion. I ended up actually using both a stock Agera RS and a stock CC GT for the first two races, and as you'll see, I came six uh, for the first race and I came first for the second race. The third race, it was a little bit more challenging with lack of speed from the CC GT, so I modified it and then I came first. This actually gave me the overall win with the most amount of points, so you don't necessarily have to win all three races. You pretty much won't have a hard time doing it, put it that way. I'm very, very picky when it comes to racing in Forza. I try to race clean without hitting walls or rewinding, so I can keep my cars relatively stock uh, when it comes to racing. I just find when I fully modify them for actually racing, they're just ridiculous. You hit everything, you have to rewind a bunch of times, and it takes pretty much the enjoyment out of it for me. Just a personal thing, maybe you're a better driver and you don't hit things when it's fully modified with like 1500 horsepower, you know, 1500 foot pounds of torque, that sort of thing. But you don't have to race clean to win the uh, Yesco, so make sure to just kind of have at her. Just make sure to get it pretty much. So enjoy these three races, guys. I am going to be doing a full customization and drive on the Yesco for tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button quickly and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Lots of content coming your way soon. Happy New Year's and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye!
opened along I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found